presenter, he's actually invented a product. It's, it's a product called Bomb Proof, where you can reseal a beer. I'm not sure if this is your target audience, because nobody here has ever had to do that, I don't think. But I want to save this for later. No, that's not... Uh, but no, he, he is an aerospace engineer, so he, he's uh, pretty damn smart. And he's going to present unto you how space, like up there, space is the next great startup. Please give it up. Ignite number 16 and Joe Hackle. Hi again, my name is Joe. I do air, I'm an aerospace engineer. I do startups. I'm going to combine those two thoughts together. But first, just so you understand, when I'm talking about space, I do mean the final frontier. Not just open space, not soft space. So space touches our lives in so many ways. It touches our daily lives. Maybe you use GPS to get here, I did. Or maybe you made a phone call, bounce off a communication satellite. But space can also touch our lives in sublime and poignant ways. The Hubble telescope returns beautiful images from deep in space for us. But that same technology is used in the doctor's office to make mammograms safer and less invasive. Space touches our lives in sublime and poignant ways, and it can do more. But this is our perception of space. It's big, it's like the space shuttle. It's big, it's cool, but it's bigger than us. We're just little people looking at it. And it doesn't have to be that way. We can change that, we can change that paradigm. We can change it using startups. So what is a startup? A startup is just simply something that takes your passion, your talent, some market demand, and combines it together for success. So let me give you an example, and let me give you an example using beer, because who here likes beer? So a beer starter, a microbrewery, takes the brewer's talent, the brewer's passion, your market to band, and combines it together for success. And it does it beautifully. So Golden, Coors, giant beer factory, just down the street from Coors, a microbrewery in somebody's house. It's challenging Coors, it's the second biggest brewer in Golden. It's Golden City Brewing. And so it can do that. It can challenge the big brewing company, Coors, all by itself on its own turf. And that levels the playing field for everybody. So in the same way as a beer startup, a microbrewery can challenge a big company, so, a space, so can a space startup challenge the orthodoxy that space is the domain of the government or of big companies. So half the people in Col half the Space Colorado companies are under 10 people. So really, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you're a space company right there. Yeah. yeah. And you over there, you're drinking, make the people around you a space company. Just do it. So again, this is what we think about space. You think it's big, but this is what it can be. These guys are building a space plane in their garage in Colorado. Now, okay, it's not as big as a space shuttle, it's only 10th scale. But still, space plane in their garage in Colorado. They're challenging that orthodoxy. They're doing cool things in space. So, this is an energy company, energy drink company. They're doing cool things in space. We can change this paradigm that has to be the demand of big companies or the government. And the reality is, this is already starting to happen. You got SpaceX, private rocket company. How cool is that? Or Virgin Galactic, Virgin Atlantic airplanes, space planes. They're putting it out there. So we just need to change our perception about where space is going to be. Do you remember the internet in the 90s? <laughs> so back then, we had no idea, we had no idea of what space was going to be, of what the internet was going to be, right? We had no conception. And the way it's now is it's all interconnected and we're all part of this giant internet. Space is going to be like that in 10, 20 years. We're going to look back and say we didn't perceive it. People are already starting to do that, starting to change that paradigm. These guys, they're trying to put selfies into space. Selfies in space. How cool is that? I'd buy that. And they're powered through Kickstarter. Again, this isn't big government. This is them. This is us coming together to do this. These guys, College kids, they wanted to hack their Android phone and call it phone sack. See that cube up there? Mainly Home Depot parts. That yellow thing sticking out? Tape measure from Home Depot. <laughs> they put it together and they said to themselves, gosh, this is awesome. Hey NASA, could we launch this? NASA said yes. They combined their talent, their passion, and they got success. So like phone sack, if you can conceive of it, you can do it. Space 
doesn't have to be any harder, and isn't any harder than any other tech startup or, any, or, or even a microbrewery, right? It's not any harder than that. So all you have to do is just turn to someone you know who's working in tech startups, working for space, and tell them to start working in that space environment, we'll start to turn towards aerospace. At this point, just turn to the person next to you and just say, hey, space, what's up? <laughs> Let's go. Don't let anything stop you. Thank you.